I love granular synthesis and Miso Corn Flakes is one of the best granular tools I've ever picked up. Um, so I just got this, I'm still getting used to it, but I think I figured out the main things about it and it just, it sounds really good and it's got some interesting features uh, that I wanna show you today. So I'm gonna start by just putting one sound through it. I think that'll be the best way to kind of demonstrate what all the features do. Uh, we're going to use ground control to trigger a Kemi's Tyco. Okay, that's a nice simple sound that we can work with. I'm just gonna record that in here and then we'll manipulate it. Uh, one thing to note is that Corn Flakes doesn't process live audio. You have to record into it um, and you can record up to 40 seconds at a time and then you can store up to 32 of these different uh, samples. Let's record this sound into it. So as soon as I stop recording, it starts playing back what I just recorded and we should probably zero out these settings. So we've got a speed and a pitch control. You can speed up your sample by up to twice as fast with the speed control. And there's gonna be different artifacts with that depending on the grain size that you've set. And you can also slow it all the way down to zero, which isn't stopped. It just means like it's frozen in place. And then, um, you know, you could further navigate where it is with position. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanna go through these controls in order. So uh, let's go back to normal speed, somewhat small grain size. You got pitch over here. Pitch goes up by up to two octaves and down by up to two octaves. And then grain size sets the size of the grains. These can be under 10 milliseconds. And I think at the highest setting, the grain size is actually the whole length of your buffer. Now diffuse here randomizes the position of the grains, the lengths of the grains, and it also spreads them around in stereo. And then position kind of moves the playhead around. Having such a short sample might not be the best way to demonstrate position, but uh, you can essentially, yeah, move where the uh, grains start from. Then length will go all the way from like the full size of your recorded buffer down to, again, I think 10 milliseconds or less, or I think it's set relative to the grain size, like length at minimum will be the size of one grain. So now it's just looping at a one grain size window. And we can increase that a bit. Now here's one really cool feature. There are these harmonize and distribute knobs that kind of work in tandem. I just reset these knobs a bit to get a cleaner um, pitched sound. So with these two knobs, you can create a four note chord. And uh, I'm actually gonna turn quantizing on. So with this light off, it's not quantized. With this light on, these uh, notes are quantized. And with this light flashing, the master pitch is also quantized to semitones. Although you can also load Scala files and uh, create your own quantization settings with those. So now as I turn up harm, it's sort of setting the range of the chord and turning distribute We'll keep the top and bottom notes the same, but shift the inner two notes of the chord. So you could find some sweet spots um, and sequence those because every one of these controls has CV controls. So you could create a chord progression out of whatever material you have in here, which I just think is so compelling. Let's do some more sound mangling though, because that was just one simple sound to demonstrate uh, what each of the controls do. I really want to show you just how much you can manipulate audio with cornflakes. So uh, let's actually go through Desmodus Versio for some delay and reverb. And then I'll just record a little bit longer of a file with um, some Akemi's sounds, like a, a wider variety of sounds, and uh, we'll just have some fun making noise.
cool, let's mess with that. It's pretty fun keeping speed at zero and then being able to like scrub through the file with position. Combine that with like changing the grain size. Man, that's a lot of fun. I could just mess with his for days. Let's try some other sounds through it. So yeah, just taking one note out of Akemi's Taiko and like spreading it around, making these beautiful clouds. Um, really interesting way to generate chord progressions too. I was thinking about getting like more complicated with it and finding things I like with both the harm and distribute parameters and kind of setting up a sequence. But then I just got lost just playing those three chords by hand while manipulating the uh, reverb and delay. Cornflakes, very inspiring module.